in America. Or should you call it the Tom Thumb? It's better known as the Tom Thumb. Now this is a good all-round fly, and certainly one I would have in my box. You can tie it all different ways. I mean, in colour combinations, but tie it in the same, obviously the same style. So I'll show you how to tie it, and it's really simple. This is the way I do it, and I know there's other ways that you could tie it in. This is the way I, I started tying it. Now, who I'm using? I'm using a what they call it's a B160. It's a Camasan hook. It's a short shank wide gape hook. The the given this is a size 12, but the shank is equivalent to a size 14, but the gapes are equivalent to a size 12. So it's ideal for like this type of flies. It's ideal for sort of deer hair patterns and so on. And a medium wire hook, which means it will sit nice in the water. The thread I'm going to use, I'm just going to use a brown uni thread, an AO. And now take start at the eye, and run it down about halfway, or turn line with the pointer hook, and then remove the waste piece. Come back up and stop just short of the eye, maybe half a head length. Now the deer hair I'm going to use, just a nice, this is a coastal deer hair, a comparadun type hair, uh, which this is like a comparadun in itself. And uh, you could, I use roe deer, I use, I mean, there's a, another piece here that's slightly darker. Uh, change the colour, you can use dyed deer hair if you want as well. It's just that it's really good stuff to use. Now we trim away from the skin and then open out the cut end fibres and remove any broken ends. Now you could use a small brush, you could use, like I'm just using points of the scissors my fingers to draw it out just by spreading it and then we're going to stack it put them in tips first into the stacker and then tap it now removing that fine far and broken ends makes it easier to stack you see how the ends have all lined up now best to take out the way you're tying it in so that's going to be tied over the eye so hold it in your fingers so that you can tie it straight on length shank length over the eye. It could be the body length or the hook length, just to show you it could be towards there or as I say there, that's where I'm going to tie in is that point. It's up to yourself. It's a pinch and loop, keeping the hair on top and keeping it always keeping a hold of the cut ends. Now I'm just going to wind the thread down. Now as I wind I break the fibers off. It's something you can practice something you need to, I like to do. I mean if you break it in stages as you wind down you'll get a tapered so a tapered body and it'll help you taper the body anyway. One or two hairs there it's in the wrong way but just bring them on top and you'll see how the comparison there the hair or the coastal deer hair spreads. So row deer is very good I mean there's all different types you could use and then carry on down Stop it just before it goes round the bend of the hook, and then we can tie in the same amount of hair over the back, and the same length as well. You could have it shorter. You could even have it again clean it out. You can even have it different colours. You can have it darker. Tips in again to the stacker. Run to your desk. Tap it. Now this time we. Take it out of the stacker facing over the back because that's how I'm going to tie it in. Just check your length, it's okay. Come in slightly on the side with the material and then bring it up two or three turns of thread. I'm just going to lift all these fibres, always keeping the thread tight, don't let the thread go, never let it go. Making sure it's sitting where you want and you can bring tons of thread around the back and in front which locks it in. Now we're ready for our dubbing. Now the body can be either the thread, could be as I say, it could be a dubbing, it could be anything you like. I mean I, I tie these with uh what do you call it, a bibio body. The body is black, red, black. Great fly for the loss, good for the brown trout. The LEC is an excellent as well. Um, I mean, I can show you even, you could even do it with ice dub. Now I've got some, this is some, that's basically a shiny dubbing. You could use light bright, whatever. And I'll do a bibio body with this or a black body. And this is just a black ice dub. 
slide it up. It works really well, so it does. Even though it's a synthetic fibre. It's shiny, that's the good thing about it. Just gonna form a nice shape. Did you see I did a turn or so at the back? Which helps to keep the wing up. Once you're happy you can either take some of it off and then tie in the red part. Again, I'm just gonna use the the ice stub just to show you. Now it is black, red, black. I'm just gonna build this up so it's nice and nice and thick and dense as the colour goes. And back to the black. Dubs extremely well this stuff. Just make sure cut ends of the here because this is going to form the hump of the fly goes over the back. We just simply bring it all the way up. Keep it nice and reasonably straight the fibres. So you don't catch any of the, the wing part of it. Be quick look see how that's sitting. You can see how it's sitting now we can tighten up. Now make it last that wee bit longer. What I like to do is just rub some Super glue onto the thread and then just come through with a couple of turns. Gonna lift both the wing and the waist parts of the deer right out the road, out the way. Bring the thread to the front. Then we can trim this away. Just come in. You may not get them all at once, but you can always go back, take out what you don't need. There we go. Now these flies, and to be really honest with you, don't last long. They do catch a lot of fish, so they do wear out. Now you could put a tiny bit of dubbing in the front, or you could, if you're happy enough with that. Now I'll put a wee tiny bit in front, just to lift the wing a wee bit. This will help keep the wing up. Slide it up. It's using the black again. Nice and tight up against the wing. Thread in front. Some varnish or some super, super glue, it's up to yourself. A couple of turns first. Quick finish. Watch, don't catch fibres. There we are. Should make it last, trim that away. Let's bring your wing back. And there we go. Now, another thing you can do is to make the deer hair last that wee tad longer. You could put in some varnish or a wee bit of UV resin. So to yourself, this is just light UV resin, so I'm gonna use my needle, spread it, spread it into the, the fibres. Just take your time and just keep spreading up and down, you'll see it sitting into it, into the actual deer hair itself in there. And then set the resin. Now you've got to find the fan here so we can switch it on. And there we are. And that there is your, they say better known in America as the Tom Thumb. Or where I am, called the Double Humpy. Great pattern, great all round dry fly. Tie it every size, tie it, you name it. It will work for you. You'd be amazed how well this work, it, it works. It actually falls well. I mean, here's a, this is just a mix of uh, natural fur, a bit of flash, a bit of ice dub or light bright would do it. Again, just, and I say, do them different colours. Time on again, what hook you like as well. So, I hope you enjoyed that. And that there's your, as I say, your tom-tom or your double humpy.